morning, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. During the early years of the 20th century, a man named William Allen, who was born in 1882 and died in 1945, lived in Berryfield. Known as Dollar Bill, he operated a bootlegging service there to thirsty Americans and locals alike. He also became the unofficial cheerleader for the Queen's University football team. But most importantly, Dollar Bill was a phil philanthropist. The story continues in the 1970s where a group of individuals, including, including my friend Peter Lloyd, who is here today, opened the Dollar Bills Bar in the Prince George Hotel. Peter handled the bookings for the bar and he brought to Kingston the best of the Canadian and international touring bands of the time. Featuring all styles of music, Dollar Bills became the hottest bar in Ontario for enthusiastic audiences virtually every night. Many of these live performances were aired on local radio and many of these shows were recorded onto tape. In March of 2013, Peter Lloyd and I formed Dollar Bill's Apex Group and started listening to all of the available tapes and during the next 14 months put together a 61-track, 4-CD set featuring 15 artists whose music would be heard and enjoyed again after more than three decades. Titled Live from Dollar Bill's, this limited edition set of only 500 copies became the cornerstone of our effort to raise funds for the UHKF. On May 25th, the Dollar Bills Apex Group presented a one-night resurrection of the original bar located at the Tiernanog Pub in Kingston for 300 fans who enjoyed performances from the Lincolns, David Wilcox, Zakia Hooker, Morgan Davis, Eugene Smith, and Ken and Chris Whiteley. Hosted by Dan Aykroyd, this evening raised funds which we had previously decided to donate to the UHKF in the spirit of Dollar Bills philanthropic ideology. It was also a good excuse to present the best party of the year. The crowd was amazing, the performances outstanding, and the evening was successful enough for Peter and I to be here today representing Dollar Bill's Apex Group. It is our pleasure to present to the UHKF a check for $30,000, which will be used for the purchase... Thank you. Thank you. Um, which will be used for the purchase of an operating chair for the new skin cancer and dermatology clinic here at the Cancer Centre. And remember, please purchase the exclusive Live from Dollar Bills CD sets and the unique Dollar Bills t-shirts so we can come back soon with another check. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our corporate sponsors, including James Braden, Ford Lincoln, our support sponsors, Dan Aykroyd, the musicians, our staff and crew, Prime Restaurants and the management staff of Tiranog. And a special thanks to the UHKF staff and to Peter Lloyd, Doug McClement, David Stone, for their assistance and participation regarding the whole evening at Dollar Bill's project. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tina. That's um, actually very, very significant gift to our program. Uh, I am delighted um, to express thanks to the committee for your efforts. Uh, I'm a relative newcomer to Kingston, so I would not have had the opportunity to, in the day, uh, experienced all of those, but in advance of this particular check presentation this morning, I was telling people uh, that I was uh, going to be receiving a check from your group, and I got lots of great stories about the day and about what it was truly like uh, to attend uh, the Dollar Bills event and the, the, uh, the club in its day. Um, I would also say that um, we are extraordinarily blessed in this program to receive gifts from donors. And today's check uh, is substantial, and, and Kelly will tell us about what exactly it's going to buy and what it's going to enable us to do to look after individuals who we know are at high risk or have been diagnosed with skin cancer in our community, where previously individuals uh, had to travel outside of southeastern Ontario to get a diagnosis and to get a confirmation of uh, skin cancer, and uh, it's going to help us treat these individuals. So we are very, very pleased to be able to receive your money to enable us to buy the equipment that Kelly will tell you about. So thank you very much. Well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank you for this fundraising. We are so incredibly lucky here at the Cancer Center to have uh, community partners such as yourselves help us care for our patients. Uh, I've said this before, but we can't do this alone. Much to our dismay, we need everybody to help us, and 
your help caring for our community and all of our patients in the southeastern area means a great deal to us. Um, this clinic that will be starting up in September will be able to handle a large capacity of patients for one of the fastest growing cancers uh, in facing our community and facing our population here in Canada. So the skin clinic that we'll be starting up will be running Monday to Friday, half days, and the donations that you have so generously given us will be used to purchase uh, specific surgical beds for these patients so that the care team, the physicians and nurses, will be able to get close to the patient, do skin surveys and skin biopsies, and uh, treat small lesions. Uh, in a very efficient manner so that we can handle more and more patients. This is a very specific bed. It will raise and lower. It will position the patient for comfort for the patients and ease of use for the care practitioners. I believe that we'll be able to purchase more than one bed uh, with this donation. It, it's so incredibly generous. I believe that I'll be able to purchase, uh, pending the finagling I can do with the, with the vendor, um, it might purchase three beds, which is uh, So again, I thank you for all of your efforts. This never runs um, easily. It takes everybody um, to put this together. So from the bottom of my heart and my care team here, thank you so much. It's important for people to understand that these beds don't come from the Ontario government. Um, hospitals are, are highly funded by the government and we really appreciate that support but it's up to our local community to raise money for the beds and for the equipment that we use and so um, raising thirty thousand dollars is really significant it, as you can see you know three beds uh, we all have cancer stories um, you know it's, uh, it's a sad story but it's a true story that, that's affecting so many of us and skin cancer is one of those uh, areas that preventable if we can get people to, uh, to cover up. Um, these, these things are, are sun catchers, you know, uh, but to cover up and, and to protect yourself uh, against the, uh, the harmful effects of the, of the sun. But for those of us who so many years ago got burned and burned and burned again, um, we're going to end up needing some assistance uh, later on and, and thankfully we can now do that in Kingston and we can do that with your help. So I really appreciate uh, this uh, incredible gift and, uh, uh, and look forward to the next venture. Thank you very much.